Hi everyone, I'm Katie Fitzgerald. I'm the Curatorial Fellow here at the Stevens Coolidge Place in North Andover, Massachusetts. It's one of 118 properties owned by the Trustees of Reservations statewide. And today we're really lucky to show you a couple of peeks into our collection here at the house. The house was occupied by the Stevens family for at least five or six generations. The property that we're on was farmed and resided upon by the Stevens family for at least eight generations. So we've got lots of really great things to show you from the early 18th century all the way up to the 1960s. So we're gonna to start today with showing you a little bit of conservation in action that we've been working on in this house. And that's actually the built-in cupboards that you see here and the, um, the drawers right below. So if you wanna look over here, you can see the edge of this cupboard has some grime on it, the finish is sort of buckling and looking a little old and gross. And that's what this whole room looked like when we started. With a little bit of help from one of our uh, a conservator that we work with, we were able to sort of bring the fronts of these drawers and cabinets back to life and the, uh, the butcher block countertop that you see here too. And it was a really great project that I actually got to help with, which was a lot of fun. One of the other things that we have in here are something that we call flower frogs. And you see a couple of them in use over here with some of our silk collections flowers. Flower frogs are what we used to use to create flower arrangements so that the flowers would stand upright and the stems would stay together before we had things like that green foam that you can get at the florist shop. And actually, so I've noticed that some vintage uh, shops on Etsy are selling these now these days too. So if you are interested in those at home, highly recommend them. They're a lot of fun to use and they're a little more eco-friendly. The other thing we're gonna look at is right behind me here, this side. This is a whiskey jar, a whiskey decanter, excuse me. And it's one of a ton of glass objects, gilt glass objects that the Stevens and Coolidge families used. And actually John and Helen, who were the last husband and wife occupant of this house, used to have a lot of luncheon parties and cocktail parties here on the estate for their friends and family, especially in the summer. They really spend most of their time up here in the summer. The last thing I wanna show you is here. April 29th, 2020 was John and Helen's 111th wedding anniversary. And in this cupboard, we've got what we think might have been a set of wedding china that they ordered. It's from William Guerin and Company, who was a French porcelain manufacturer in the Limoges section of factories outside of Paris. And it's white French porcelain with gilt edges and the HC monogram on it for Helen Coolidge. It's got teacups, demi-tasse cups, saucers, coffee, um, and tea, um, coffee and teapots, sugar bowls. And then there's actually a dining service that's part of it as well with salad plates, luncheon plates, and um, a couple of other fun like dinner plates and things and serving platters and such. So as you can see, we've been really busy in here with cataloging and cleaning everything. And the last thing I wanted to tell you about was this space. We're in one of the wings of the house. The house was actually two different structures that was put together. And where I'm standing right now, while we call it the butler's pantry today, it actually used to be the front entrance and the main central stair hall for this portion of the house before it was renovated in the 19-teens by uh, preservation architect Joseph Everett Chandler. So we've got a lot of other architectural history that we can get into. So stay tuned for any future virtual things that we might be doing that'll have that kind of information in it if you're interested. Thanks so much for joining. We'll see you later.